Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for joining me today. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Nightingale. So survival crafting, I love the genre. I played Sunken Land and Valheim and Daisy, Subsistence, Raft, you name it. I probably played it except Subnautica. I don't know. I don't like underwater. But Raft is kind of one of those things where I'm like, okay, you get to go on land and you get to run around and find materials. So I guess it's all right. And Sunken Land because you get machine guns. So always a huge fan of that. But Nightingale, first things first, portals. Portals, portals, portals. Go through the game, follow Puck's advice, do all that stuff. Get to where you need to go. Eventually, he's going to tell you to go ahead and craft gear. Make sure that you craft your gear, gear so that you can go into your first waypoint, which should be, uh, I don't know if this character is the same for you, but uh, Wilhelmina will be your first person that will go ahead and kind of tell you what's going on, tell you a little bit about Nightingale, but most importantly, the Essence Trader is located next to her. As well as your antiquarian side of power so make sure that you follow these quests and do them as soon as possible so that you can get to the provisioners realm with the forest uh combined and then will himina will go ahead and give you a quest to go ahead and unlock the pistol um before i knew that i spent my time running around about three or four different realms and completing them but hey i, I got a bunch of materials in order to create this masterpiece in order to go ahead and blast enemies, uh, you are going against the Pale, which is a mutated version of humanity, which uh, humanity did fall. There was a calamity, basically end of days, in which the Pale kind of took over the world. And you'll kind of get um, journals, recounts, you'll get, you know, uh, logs and journalings that you'll see, diaries, all these different pages that you'll find uh in each and every different realm that will kind of paint a very clear picture as to what happened in the incidents um all countries are involved in this as far as i can tell america uh europe um and what is it paris all these other areas are kind of affected with the same thing and of course nightingale is the main city behind everything which eventually, you know, used the Fae technologies in order to create everything around them. Fae weren't happy. Fae came down and said, nope, and then cursed them with the pale. So that's pretty much what's going on uh, in the gist of the game right now. But I wanted to give you guys some kind of pointers on what you guys should keep an eye out for. So let's talk about the card system. Card system is our realm cards. I'll go over here to my personal portal, which you'll go ahead and find once you get into that antiquarian portal, you're going to find a piece that will allow you to construct this, and it's pretty simple. But you're going to get three biome cards, uh, which are in the game right now. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be many, many more biomes. And of course, major cards, which are going to change the difficulty depending on what you see here. There's 10, there's 20, 30, and then 40. Um, going on as you progress in the different tiers. So the Astral Wave card and the Provisioner card are going to be like Tier 2 areas. And those are going to give you Tier 2 materials, which you're going to actually turn those into weapons, clothing, and tools that you can go ahead and use inside of the game itself. Once you pop these in, depending on whatever flavor of difficulty you want, you can go ahead and start the portal. And you also have the uh, ability to go ahead and check this drop down menu right here which is grayed out for me because i have a portal open currently and choose the difficulty that you want to go ahead and partake in the next thing that you're going to be able to do inside of the game itself and i do not have a fey portal here on this map because this is my respite world but you can go ahead and um assume that there's this little iron gate looking thing icon on the map once you go there it's called the fey tower when you go into these portals you can play a different card that's going to alter the world itself you can have perpetual day perpetual night you can have more treasure you can have more essence which is basically the currency and the crafting material needed to imbue magics to increase the item level of said gear and you're going to come into contact with some of these uh cards like the trickster card which is really rare 
but it does cool stuff like if you mine rocks you'll get wood if you chop down trees or you know gather sticks you're gonna get hide bones and meat and uh, if you kill the pale themselves you'll get rare uh, ores from them like silver iron magnesium um, steel and stuff like that so really good to have I would recommend that you save these cards for the later tiers like tier 2 tier 3 because in the past 24 hours that I've been playing this game I've only come across two and this is the second one um, you can also have areas of uh, you know like the utopia card settler card you can have a weighted card you can you can chain alter your damage all these cards do different things at the fate tower itself and they're permanent you can change them out um, and they'll last for until you change uh, the realm out into something else so just keep that in mind so once you complete a realm you can go ahead and it'll go ahead and give you kind of like what's going on here like do you want to go back to that same provisioners realm that you have in the forest or do you want to open another provisioner's realm so this kind of gives you the ability to go ahead and say all right i've already farmed the heck out of this area you know inside of the realm that you go to so you can close it down and then launch a new portal to the same provisioner's uh area except the whole orientation everything is going to be different and it's going to be uh there for you to collect all the materials in so that's really nice to have versus running 30 miles that way to a portal uh, where you died, you can actually go ahead and create these and the realms look pretty similar to this um, They can get a little bit bigger uh, I've seen a swamp that I've ran around for like miles But uh, for right now, you know your provisional realm is going to be pretty small and it's going to be the realm where you're gonna Experience most of your stories. So don't think about moving just yet This is where you're gonna have everything going for you So crafting let's talk about crafting Crafting has a feng shui to it, just like in Valheim. The closer things are to one another, the more bonuses, as you can see those check marks on this workbench, you're going to get. So a lot of these things are going to require, and I do not have a whole lot unlocked at the moment, but you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, and let's say, okay, we want a pistol, and we can go ahead and take a look. Uh, what the heck was it anyway it'll it'll go ahead and give you some kind of like um, increases basically to what's actually happening so if we go ahead and inspect there we go we can see that it is sheltered so uh, refinement time is decreased by 10 seconds vigilant unlocks following recipes uh, because we have other items um, placed near it we have resourceful tools. We also have stuff like sharpened blades, um, you know, crafted axes, knives. Items have more damage, so it's going to increase things like that. Uh, unlock for the revolver and cartridges because I did get the saddle, simple saddle rack in order to go ahead and get the cowboy trait to go ahead and craft these things. So the Lancaster pistol, you're going to need barrel, wrap, stock, action. The wrap is made from all the different refined stuff. And you can find all of this in the tier 2 area when you actually go to meet uh, Bass Reeves. I do not know the character's name down here. I think her name is uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina will go ahead and send you at some point in the storyline to go meet Bass Reeves. And Bass Reeves will teach you all about armaments and ammunition. So just keep that in mind, but you got to kind of see that each part has a different feng shui to it and they all connect to each other and they have supporting items that will go ahead and alter that as well. So these are found in augmentations, which will unlock certain items like this will go ahead and unlock the mining pick for me, or I can go ahead and choose a different item that will unlock the refined wood axe. So you kind of get the gist of what's going on here with these Augmentation is really important. And where do you find all these recipes? You find them in the world. So highly incentivized for you guys to go ahead and, and visit the occupation areas, visit the insights, visit the uh, places of, of defense on these different realms. And they will go ahead and unlock some of these different uh, schematics for you so that you can go ahead and increase your ability to craft more items 
Um, but you can kind of see what my like first, uh, you know, base looked like. It was just a box with a bunch of workstations in it and uh, baskets. But then, you know, once you get the hang of everything, you're eventually going to be working uh, on the feng shui of your actual crafting area. And there's a ton of crafting stations out there, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that being said, let's look at materials. So if we look at our materials here, we can see that we have a number of different ingots. So depending on what piece we're working on, we're going to be utilizing different uh, metals. So you're going to get these lacunas ingots. Very easy to get from the pail. Usually drop from the guys that have swords, and those guys hit freakishly hard. But once you kill them, they will drop an ingot, and you can go ahead and gather them. And as you can see here, it gives 20% to melee damage. This is very good for like axes, pickaxes, stuff like that, once you're able to craft them in the tier 2 area. But then you get stuff like copper, which is good for range damage. So you want to build your weapons out of this stuff, or your ammunition out of this stuff. Things like uh, brass, you can go ahead and tin. Uh, again, with the range damage here with the magnesium, that's basically what my gun is made out of is magnesium and um, uh, gilded lumber. So gilded lumber is going to give it an extra 15% damage. So as much damage as I could get at my tier is what I got going inside of this weapon itself. And that being said, you have to also take that into mind with the components that you have for your clothing as well. So whatever the HP increase or strength increase or durability increase of the actual components that you utilize will determine the outcome. So if we take a look at these two different straps, maximum stamina, stamina is 10 and then here it's 50. Here it's health. So you can actually see, oh, I should use these straps for my gear versus these straps, which don't give any health. I can get this one and it'll increase my health uh, substantially. Uh, same thing for threads. Threads do different things. Some are just generic, like, uh, you know, the crew thread. Uh, some actually, actually, like this one, Advanced Bound Fiber gives 20% HP, and that'll go ahead and, you know, everything needs to be sewn together. You're going to need stuff like for your gloves. And if we go into our Trapper shirt here, we can see that I can choose that. Throw three of those in there, and we're going to get the 20% bonus. It's only the 20% bonus, and you have to have all of the same type. So same thing for cloth. Um, but you kind of get what's going on there. You're going to find a lot of materials, and you're going to need a lot of storage. You're going to find this. I found this storage actually in an occupation near a fey portal. So uh, the weathered trunk is a very decent uh, storage increase. And as you can see, I found all these different types of ammunition. But you're going to find stuff out there in the world. And that's the whole name of the game. Go out, explore, bring back materials, and build yourself uh, you know, all the things that you're going to need in order to go ahead and survive. Next thing is obviously a food buff. So we can go ahead and consume multiple types of food up to three. And we can have like maybe three drinks going at the same time or three different foods going at the same time. But you kind of get what's going on here. With that being said, um, the cook station is kind of here at the moment. I haven't found anything greater than this, but I probably will make a cooking video at some point uh, and give you kind of more instruction as to how to go about doing that. But for right now, I think this suffices with the feng shui that's going on, the ability to go ahead and play different realm cards, and also a couple of tips to keep in mind when you do find chests out there in the world that you can loot, you can go ahead and use your maul to break them down. I highly recommend that you guys do this because you get uh, ingots, you get hinges, you get um, gilded lumber as well as leathers from these chests when you break them down. So make sure that you're doing that. Uh, another thing that you can keep in mind is that 
uh, when you play these cards, you want to make sure that you look for the occupations because occupations will have these chests in them, at least two to three, and the defense towers as well. And you can go ahead and expect to, uh, you know, break them down and take your um, companion with you because your companion, unlike you, you have a specific weight limit, but he can carry like nine stacks of like 80 kilogram ore around for you. So make sure that you bring him with you and in a pinch in case you die and he's up, he'll revive you like in a second. So very useful to have a companion with you. Make sure that you go ahead and gear them out too. Give them a good weapon because when you put a good weapon in their hand, oh my gosh, these guys go to town. It's hammer time basically uh, when you take these guys with you and you can have them carry all the heavy stuff and then you can go ahead and utilize your expansive storage to go ahead and bring back everything because you will oftentimes go out and come back with full bags. But I think that's it for now. I really appreciate you guys sharing your time with me today. And if you made it this far, please like, subscribe, comment. And uh, I also have a Patreon you guys can check out for artwork and game saves. And thank you very much. We'll see you all in the next one. Have fun out there.